I'm going to read three poems. This is called Self-Portrait. I live between my heart and my head, like a married couple who can't get along. I live between my left arm, which is swift and sinister, and my right, which is righteous. I live between a laugh and a scowl, and voted against myself, a two-party system. <laughs> my left leg dawdled or danced along, my right cleaved to the straight and narrow. My left shoulder was like a stripper on vacation. My right stood upright as a Roman soldier. Let's just say that my left side was the organ donor and leave my private parts alone. <laughs> but as for my eyes, which are two shades of brown, well, Dionysus meet Apollo. Look at Eve raising her left eyebrow while Adam puts his right foot down. No one expected it to survive, but divorce seemed out of the question. I suppose my left hand and my right hand will be clasped over my chest in the coffin, and I'll be reconciled at last. I'll be whole again. cotton candy. We walked on the bridge over the Chicago River for what turned out to be the last time. And I ate cotton candy, that sugary air, that sweet blue light spun out of nothingness. It was just a moment, really, nothing more. But I remember marveling at the sturdy cables of the bridge that held us up and threading my fingers through the long and slender fingers of my grandfather, an old man from the old world who long ago disappeared into the nether regions. And I remember that eight-year-old boy who had tasted the sweetness of air, which still clings to my mouth and disappears when I breathe. Special Orders. Give me back my father, walking the halls of Wertheimer Box and Paper Company with sawdust clinging to his shoes. Give me back his tape measure and his keys, his drafting pencil and his order forms. Give me his daydreams on lined paper. I don't understand this uncontainable grief. Whatever you had that never fit, whatever else you needed, believe me, my father, who wanted your business, would squat down at your side and sketch you a container for it. 